Today we're going to be trying out all the different kinds of Scratch mod out there. So up first we have Scratch with the default cat sprite and regular blocks. Not much to say here, but Scratch is the only one of these mods, but not a mod, that you can modify with add-ons like Scratch add-ons or Scratch tools. Um, you can also post things to Scratch and by far you'll have the biggest audience there if you want to publish anything you make but it doesn't support many extensions and its image editor isn't very good and Scratch is just isn't that good okay so next up we have Turbo Warp one of the best Scratch mods out there and also one probably the simplest so Turbo Warp was developed by Garbo Muffin and it has the default Dango Cat sprite and regular blocks usually the accent color is red and the image editor is normal but what the big thing is in Turbo Warp is that it supports these add-ons for scratch add-ons but also the advanced settings like 60 FPS and interpolation and high quality pen and remove fencing all these are really great because you can do stuff like make your products run smoother and do things that they couldn't do in scratch and also Turbo Warp has this amazing extension library where you can get these extensions that are not compatible with Scratch but they can do stuff like squash and stretch sprites and read from files make effects go across the entire stage like, the options here are pretty limitless so next here is a penguin mod and the penguin mod has a default sprite penguin and a blue flag instead of a green flag you will also see some new blocks that aren't in the original Scratch editor and I haven't actually looked at these before so uh, let me check them out so you got some like classics like if touching mouse pointer bounce like if you've ever wanted this penguin mod is your mod I I'm joking there's actually a lot of useful stuff here like wait this many seconds or until this happens this is really useful and there's a lot of important string like text stuff very good Penguin Mod also has an editor that has more vector options that I like. Uh, and Penguin Mod has a few more extensions that are useful as well. But what Penguin Mod really kills me on here is that when you download projects, they download as PMP files instead of SB3 files. So you won't be able to load those into Turbo Warp or Scratch, even if there isn't anything that is keeping you from doing it. Of course, if you just rename the file type, then that fixes it. But, you know, if you're too lazy to do that like me, then it sort of kills the idea for you. And also, uh, there is a like a server where you can upload stuff for Penguin Mod projects, but it's currently down and it has been for a few months. So it's, it'll be maybe like a hit or miss if that ever actually goes back up. But if it does, then that'll be a way to share your project as well, but just not with as many people as there is in Scratch. Alright, so next is Gandhi IDE. This one's been going around on YouTube quite a lot lately. I know some users like Jackson Academy use it, and I think it's pretty good. So here's why. Our default sprite is the adorable robot Moo. So what's cool is these menus are like collapsible, but I think that scares most people, like me, because it's just different and the layout looks confusing. But the editor is mostly the same and the blocks are the same but there's a lot more extensions and there's also an asset marketplace for people who can't get their own assets like pictures and sounds but the extensions are really really cool here because there's some extensions like MMO that replaces cloud variables and quake that adds new like effects to the stage and dolly which lets you manage clones better and Gandhi also has a database where they keep projects like scratch and penguin mods so you can publish your stuff to a pretty big audience and you can see people comment on it and stuff so Gandhi is pretty good but it's laggy and occasionally you'll run into a little bit of broken English because the developers don't have English as their first language but that's really the only things I have on it I think Gandhi's really good actually and it's worth trying so next up is snail IDE which is actually a mod of penguin mod which means we're like three deep into like the modding now because it's like scratch to turbo Warp to penguin mod to snail IDE so it has a nice purple accent color and the snail twemoji as the default sprite and the same weird blocks as penguin mod but there's a little bit more blocks added past penguin mod so there's new sections 
like effects which are, have some of the blocks from other areas like from looks but now with some more stuff in them. So there's also a bunch more extensions that are merged in compared to Turbo Warp and you can tell they're all from Shark Pool because they all have Fredoka 1 on the front of them and these are slightly more like shady mods like a little sketchy but they all work correctly of course like all these extensions work correctly but there's just like more of them there's like a little bit less of a test that they have to pass through to get in you know so that's pretty much it I mean again just like penguin mod it uses its own file type snail IDE project and it has its own servers that's pretty much all there is it's pretty similar to penguin mod finally is unsandboxed which is sort of like a secret mod being developed it's a mod of turbo warp so it doesn't have all the stuff from penguin mod and as our default sprite we have this rainbow dango elephant dog I don't know what it is it, as an accent color you can pick gray or pride color or purple or blue or green or red uh, we have these new block types like strings that let, that are sort of like built-in extensions but it's different from the ones in penguin mod because it's not based on penguin mod at all and there's also some new block types like camera and some more things in math but what's also really cool is that all of these inputs have square shapes instead of like round shapes or hexagon shapes and what that means is you can put any kind of input into them and it'll just accept it as it is so like a one could be the same as true or true could be text so there's like no limit for how you can handle that and you don't have to convert stuff thanks for watching i don't even know how that works you can tint yourself uh, what is it uh, uh, we don't talk about that color so